video title says deploying in Google Cloud. So in this video, we will be deploying our website on Google Cloud. So let's get started. For this, first we need to take care of requirements.txt, which we have already made. So let's open on PyCharm. Here, whatever we install with the help of pip, we need to mention here as we have installed Zango at the time of installation. So it is mentioned over here. During the project, we installed widget tweaks. So we will be writing over here after giving enter Zango hyphen widget hyphen tweaks. After saving this, we need to go to settings.py. Here, the first step we need to do is debug. Debug will make it false. And in allowed host, it will ask for our site name. We'll be deploying on gcp.appspot.com. So first we'll be writing gcp.appspot.com. And what's the name of a website? Dream cones. So dream dash cones dash Zango. And it should be dash. Make sure it should be in string. So I'll be writing in string over here. Great. So after saving this, we will be going to URLs when we need to add these two lines from zango.com import settings from zango.com.urls.static import static. By this, we need to import settings and import static also. So here down at after the bracket, we'll be adding plus then static. Then we'll be giving settings dot with caps on static underscore URL and also static underscore root. So I'll just copy this and with the comma, I'll paste it over here. Then we will give a variable to this. So document underscore root equal to. So after this, what we need to do is we'll be moving to our dream cones dash project. Here we'll be making a file with name app.yaml. Here we need to write uh, some lines of code here. So I'll be going to, we'll be typing Python doc samples and then app engine. Click on the first one. Here I'll be going again to PyTalk samples and then to app engine and then to flexible. And here, hello world Zango. Here we got app.yaml. Don't worry about this long path. I'll be mentioning this whole path in the description below. Here we have this code. We'll just copy from here and we'll open the PyCharm and we'll paste it over here. Instead of project name, I'll be writing my project name, which is dream cones.wsgf. So with this all in place, we will be going to Google Cloud site. Here we have quick start. Where we have quick start for Linux, if you are on Linux or whether you are on Debian or Ubuntu or Red Hat, CentOS, Mac OS, anything, you can follow the instructions. Here I'm doing for Windows. So I'll just click it. Here we have complete instructions. First, we need to create a Google Cloud Platform project. 
here we will be creating through gmail account you need to give details for your debit or credit account it offers 300 dollar for 12 months what's the benefit for this is you can have multiple projects to single billing account so it's a profitable thing after this, we'll be downloading Google Cloud SDK installer, which I have already installed. You can see a exe file over here. When you click this, we need to click on next. I agree. And then we, you can see, please select install type. So I'm just doing for myself. So for NetSet OS. Then after this, I'll be clicking on next and then next and then install. So I have already installed. You can do here. So after this, when it will finish, it will open up a Google Cloud SDK shell. So with this, we'll be typing here G Cloud. Press enter. Now it will be asking for reinitialize this configuration default with new settings. So will be not making a new configuration so i'll just type here one hit enter here it is asking me for account name so here i don't want to make a new account so i'll be giving a gmail account let's say to us so first And enter it has logged in me now it is asking for project name i have already made my project so one and then enter so do you want uh, to configure default compute region no i don't want so n now we'll be going to project location I'll paste it over here with CD and then we'll be deploying our website, which is a very important line, G Cloud. So we will enter this. So here it will take uh, we need to write here why because we need to continue this. Beginning deployment of service. It will push image for service. And here it has taken our target URL, dream cones, sango gcp app spot.com. Now it will take 15 minutes to deploy. In the meantime, I'll just pause this, pause the video. So it is installed here uh, and uh, is deployed. So we will go to this website name, which is an HTTP. We will go on Chrome and we'll open this. Click enter, hopefully it will work now. Oops, there is internal server error. Let's go and check. We can also check by this G Cloud app logs tail. It will give you all the logs, but for this, we should go to PyCharm first. Let's see. Here, oh, yeah, here we have made a mistake. For this, it will be root. Okay, we can also check this. We can see error over here also, but first we need to check. So we will go to this 
cloud sdk and here we will write python3 manage.py run server we will first check in no local here we can see there is a plus error that's what i was also thinking the same so here first we will go this above take it above with space here we need to take care of our spaces also so here space and here we will write root all static url and then static root control s and then we need to deploy it again we will be writing g cloud first we will check on local also python manage.py so it is running well so we will deploy on g cloud also so we will write g cloud app deploy now we need to wait for 15 minutes as well why now it will push every image for service so let's pause the video now it is done hopefully now it will run so we will go to chrome and we'll copy this website name and hit enter yes we got a site whatever we deployed on local host now it is on gcp google cloud let's go to order ice cream see it is same now if you want to have more than one ice cream it is two get ice creams yes we got everything now it is working very well now we will go to g cloud console.cloud.google.com for internal things we will click on it get password now we can have the internal things like we can have everything about app engine we can click on app engine and here we can have services versions and instances okay so here we can see everything let's go to our home page so we will come up with new ideas new content so for stay for this stay tuned and like my video and subscribe to our channel thank you